What's up guys, today I'm going to show you, show you how to set up a Minecraft bucket server. First you're going to want to download this, link will be in the description, this one. If you're running on Linux, this one and there is uh, an so and so it's also so for Mac. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do it for Mac or Linux, just Windows, since most of the people out there are using Windows. Uh, and I'm also going to run a 64-bit machine. If you have a 32-bit, uh, you just you just need the 32-bit uh, file. This the, uh, this link will also be in the description. Uh, the the install this installation is no uh, change, just uh, the name of the file. And you want to download them into the same folder, and then you want to open this one and run. As you can see, they're starting the Minecraft server, beta 1.4. Uh, it has a lot of warnings and errors, but no, uh, no worries. They just create. Uh, this is just what they're creating: a whitelist properties log and stuff. So nothing to worry about. As you see now, can see now, the server is up and running. So you can connect to it whenever you want. Uh, to change, change anything in the server, which you c actually can't do during uh, when the server is on online, uh, but you can at least. I can just show you how to. You're going to open this server properties, and you wanna uh, choose and uh, note blocks note. And here you can see hell world. Uh, you wanna put it on false because if you put it on true then the whole world is another and I'm going to put spawn monsters this is zombies and stuff on false and so on spawn animals because I think it's irritating when it's chickens everywhere uh, so IP you don't actually need to say change to this they can connect to a server anyway uh, the whitelist, I'm going to put it on false because not that, ma that many people go it's going to connect to the server. Uh, if you put it on true, you want to check uh, who's inside of this whitelist. Uh, anyone who in who's inside of that can connect. And also, a good thing to know if you put false, I'm going to put false on PP so you can't harm, you harm each other. And a good thing to know if you put false on online mode people that hasn't purchased Minecraft and just using it offline can actually connect to your Minecraft server but I don't want that to be completely honest so I'm going to put some true uh, the thumbnail name is world spawn protection is 16 and uh, I'm going to show you this is stop is to stop the server of course and now I can save this and I'm going to show you some plugins uh, to install the plugin, you all you need to do is op open this folder and put it in here. Um, in the bucket forms, there's a lot of different plugins. As you can see here, bucket.org. And over here, get plugins. Here's a lot of different plugins like wool. You can color wool. And wolf. I believe it's wolf pound or something. Yes, adopt wolf today. Uh, using this one, I'm going to download this one because I actually really like this one. Uh, download version oh, version nine. It's the latest one. Uh, when it, once you down, download this, you're going to want to put it inside the plugin folder, and now you have your very own plugin. Uh, to use this one, it's just to write slash adopt one two three and so such. Uh, it, how to use the plugins will often s say so in the forms, uh, but I'm not going to model this. Uh, thank you for listening. Please comment, in, comment, rate, and subscribe. This was Moonshine Art. Bye.